Hey Libra, welcome to Libra Vibes. If you're a return viewer, welcome back. So we're gonna get into the, another reading, see what's the vibe, see what spirit has for you at this time. I see you guys much love and light. I hope you guys are doing well. Take what resonates, Libra does not on this table. This is a general reading. If you would like to book a personal, my email's in the description box. So Libra, let's see what the overall energy is kind of this message here for you guys at this time. We have going through a transformation and in their feelings. So you're going through a transformation. You're evolving. And someone is in their feelings. They're doing a lot of drinking here, laying down, thinking about you a lot. Definitely a lot of romantic feelings swirling in this person's head. Okay. But let's get into the message. <laughs> So let's see what's going on with this person here in their feelings. Where who's in their feelings? Who's in their feelings? You have the four swords, right? I told you a lot of laying down, thinking about you while they're at home. This could be an Aquarius energy, a Gemini, maybe even another Libra. Nine of swords. This person can't even sleep. It's like they, if they lay down and go to sleep, they're thinking about you and then they're waking up stressed out. Um, it's a lot of mental energy here. We have the Six of Wands. So maybe you guys are being celebrated, getting a victory in some type of way, going through some type of transformation. Maybe for someone here, this transformation has you in the spotlight on stage or in some type of spotlight in some type of way. What is the message here? We have the Eight of Swords. Again, it's like this person gets deep in their feelings and then they kind of maybe get it under control and then they're right back. This person can't face themselves or look themselves in the mirror for something here that happened between you guys. And then we have the Seven of Swords. So maybe this person was like really deceptive with you. They could have got exposed about something here. Okay, Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck. So there could be a lot of love here. Um, this could also be a, a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. This could even be um, Aries energy as well for someone. Again, at home, thinking about you. You guys are evolving. There could be something here with, why can't this person face themselves, look themselves in the mirror? The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So maybe this person feels that the connection could have ended really fast, all right? They could also feel that maybe they're not able to attract um, as much financially in a way. It's like, right, with, with it in reverse, it's like maybe they're not able to attract as much as they used to. Maybe when you were in this person's life, they were able to kind of like attract a lot of money to themselves, a lot of opportunities, Um maybe even having a lot of tangible things but now that you're gone it's it's not the same clarify the six of wands for me we have the four of cups yeah so it's like while you're like being celebrated or again being in the spotlight in some type of way this person is actually in the four of cups this could be um a lgbtq plus situation with two feminines here it's also maybe this person can't face themselves if they got exposed in a way of like being deceptive with you, lying to you, cheating on you. Okay, maybe you called out their negative behavior and maybe now it's like I can't look at myself. This person could also be extremely bored without you. Okay, maybe if this person is in any, in any type of love connection, maybe they just aren't able to have that same connection with another person they could they also could feel like rejected by you in some way that that kind of puts this person in that energy then we have the nine of cups excuse me the page of cups i said nine of cups so maybe you're getting your wishes fulfilled and maybe this person isn't also with me saying the nine of cups that's definitely a pisces energy here there's also something about like loving you maybe this person pushed your love to the side clarify the seven of swords the king of cups so this could even be a scorpio but it could definitely be 
a water sign masculine here for someone. This person could also, maybe they they still have a lot of emotions for you. Maybe for someone here, this person could be like hopeful that maybe you guys will get back together. They could also be a karmic masculine energy here as well. And maybe they just feel like you don't trust them, okay? So that could also have this person deep up in their feelings because it's like they don't trust me. Seven of Cups, right? This person could have had options. They could have chose the wrong option. Also, this person could just constantly think about like, why didn't I choose Libra here for someone? Also, for someone here, maybe you are evolving in a way. Um, maybe you're climbing the ladder as well in some type of way. And this person just constantly thinks of this here. We also have a Cancer energy. So... Heavy water sign energy, also a heavy emotional type of energy. So let's see. Maybe this person thinks about like equal give and take. And then there's something here about maybe this person was able to, again, track a lot of things to themselves in a financial type of way. And they're not able to anymore. It's like I was so lucky when Libra was around. Okay. Okay. You guys do bring a lot of luck. So maybe that could be the energy. Son of baskets in reverse. So maybe this person was definitely very immature emotionally here in the past. It's like they kind of chose to be emotionally um, immature. So that could actually have this person like just thinking of that. The father of coins, which would be coins in this deck is pentacles. So this could also be... Um, a Taurus energy for someone. It's like, maybe this person looks at you as like a genie in a bottle type of thing. A lot of my wishes came true with them. I rejected my genie in a bottle. <laughs> Give me one for in their feelings. We have the eight of knives coming out, which is the eight of swords here. So, again, this person is just like in a mental present over you here. And about some cheating or some deception. Why in the Eight of Swords so bad? It's like they try to get out of that energy, but they constantly go back to it. The Mother of Baskets, which is Cups here. So... It could be I wasn't sweet to them. I didn't show them love. I didn't give them a helping hand. Also, Libra is now in this energy of not be, being sweet with me, being sweet on me. This person could miss you being sweet on them. Also, someone could have chose a karmic feminine energy here over you in some type of way. Maybe a feminine that is not as nurturing, not as loving as you are. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. We have Black Herman. Also, Black Herman is like, this card represents Black magic here. So maybe someone, if they did attempt Black magic towards you, a masculine energy, um, Herman could be significant. Maybe you know Herman or H could be significant. There's something about... I can't look at myself in the mirror because I attempted to have power over them by trying to do some type of magic on them. Also, that magic backfired on this person and also caused this person to kind of be in a different type of energy financially here. Also, someone could have attempted to like get you trapped in your head with black magic and it kind of backfired on them and they're stuck in their head. Also, that... It could be a Gemini energy here, but definitely doing something here with some magic, possibly with some type of plants or leaves or something here. But again, it was all about power. You see, it says power here. That literally says power. So they tried to like have power over you by using black magic and it just kind of fucked up their own money. So let's see. This person here clearly made this decision if that um, black magic message is resonating with you. 
And then we have Bishop C.H. Mason. So this could have definitely been um, someone who like, this masculine is like kind of, maybe they're like a warlock or something for someone. But now they're in their feelings. Also, for someone, this person could be suffering from some type of liver disease or jaundice or something here as well. So that could have them in their feelings as well. If this is someone that kind of like drinks a lot, maybe someone has like liver disease now. So it's like they're in their feelings about the magic in general. Miss Robinson, which is like the devil card here in this deck. There could have also been some type of funeral or something that this person attended. Someone that maybe they care about could have passed away. And now they're all up in their head about that as well. But you guys are transforming and evolving here. So let's see what... Currently, this person is like, they really could be like really extremely bored without you as well for some. Also, someone, if you resonate with that black magic energy, they could have actually gotten exposed as someone who does this. Okay, definitely a masculine energy. So, at this, um, in this message, it's not a feminine energy, it's a masculine so if you resonate with it and as a masculine, then that's confirmation. They tried to bully you, have power over you. This could be a Taurus masculine or a Gemini masculine or a water sign masculine. There's also something here where someone could have been actually just trying to like say things, maybe speak over your finances in a way as well and and then maybe there is someone who kind of like like i said is like a warlock energy you definitely received help from your angels here in regards to that reconsider yeah so compromise so for someone here within the next few months or even the next few weeks, someone could attempt to try to contact you, speak with you, use their throat chakra here. They could be actually praying. Um, also, someone could have been like praying in a way to maybe like wanting you to pass away or something here just because you weren't like reaching your hands out to them, showing them love because of their own immaturity. The getting spiritual jail. Spirit, what would you like for them to know? Yeah, there's definitely some communication here. So within the next few weeks or months, like I said, this person could attempt to reach out to you to communicate with you. Spirit, what do you want them to know about this communication from this person? This person is in a struggle position with their patience, also with their finances. Someone may like be in their feelings for someone here. Um, maybe they receive some type of new job or they're like building up something, working on something. And maybe they kind of want to share that with you as well. Also, you guys have been really patient going through a transformation. It's like you guys are on, right, this King of Pentacles came out again. It's like, I don't want to be burdened. I don't want to be stressed. I don't want to be hurt. <laughs> There's also something about this person maybe being impatient about their own financial security here. You guys are like bettering yourself. Also for someone, this person could possibly be someone that doesn't really take risks here. It's like, you know how someone can be like, oh, I want this, that, and the third, but then they actually don't take any action towards that. So for someone here, that could be the problem with this person here. It's like they just stay up in their head. Maybe you are the one that kind of like pushed them to try new things, to go after success in a way. Um, also, this person could be kind of like working on being a mature, grounded, masculine energy now. And if you are this mature, grounded, masculine energy, maybe you're just like 
working really hard, working on your finances, your stability. You're more focused on your money than you are on this feminine, if that's the case here. Um, and again, there's something about you giving this person butterflies. Even, even in the past, you gave this person butterflies. Spirit, what do you want them to know if they resonate with this whole magic energy here from this masculine energy? It's not going to work. It's not going to turn over. Also, they're like very untrustworthy here. This person is definitely going to get bad news. Again, like I said, this person is going to experience money problems. This masculine energy could be very ignorant here. Um, also, they did not appreciate you. So it's like... I didn't appreciate them, but I'm going to go try to exude some power over them. You guys are still um, getting the victory here. Also, there's something about the way you look, right? You're so fine. You also have, yeah, someone, you have like a really good business sense here. And maybe it's like now that you kind of like moved away from this person, maybe they're stuck. They don't know exactly what to do. Um, also... There's definitely some energy here where you're in the limelight in some type of way. Very confident, very generous woman here. And maybe maybe that's the thing. It's like now I'm stuck with this unaffectionate karmic feminine energy here. And or karmic masculine. Take it as it resonates. Tower responsibly. Also, maybe you guys are like really mature. You're also very magnetic. So I feel like this person is just like so drawn to you. And if this person experienced some type of death here, maybe they're up in their head because they're like, oh, I have to deal with this karmic person. And, you know, it just don't hit the same. It hit different. This person could be praying for you guys to reconsider at this time as well. To reconsider what? justice libra will you reconsider maybe this person wants you to reconsider taking them back or being in their life in some type of way this person could also want to try to like be honest with you here maybe they just see you as someone very honest and truthful and they just wish you would talk to them there's also something about how vibrant and enthusiastic you were whenever this person would communicate with them. I, I guess you gave them life, but they didn't stand in their truth here. So they're like, Libra, please reconsider. Also, there is karmic justice. This person here that was doing this, this untrustworthy person that didn't appreciate you and then tried to do some magic to have power. There's definitely karmic justice being served here. The magician, right? In the reverse, backfire. Also for someone here, this person, maybe they have also like creatively, right? It's like they have a blockage here now. And again, for some of you, you could have been that person that kind of like would give them courage, would give them this pep talk help them feel confident a very helpful person to this person here you could have even been very helpful towards this person if they did experience some type of death and you were in their life at the time you just have an amazing business sense and even to speak to you is like really good news or it was for this person in the past yeah so they're like reconsider like Can we change things? Also, this person is kind of like resisting change between you guys. They also, for someone, could be trying to avoid like tragedy, avoid their tower moment, okay? Maybe even avoid like this magic backfiring on them in some type of way, if that resonates. There's also an energy here of, for someone, maybe this person hasn't received their karmic justice yet, but it's literally like right there.
they're trying to avoid the loss of you they're also trying to avoid tragedy and um chaos and destruction they're also trying to delay the inevitable delay this karmic justice but um so it's like if i reconnect with them then this won't happen give me one for in their feelings the chariot also someone could be this could be a cancer energy a cancer masculine or just a cancer if not this person could just be in their feelings because you guys have overcome some obstacles you have the victory you guys are really focused and hard working very ambitious so there could also be someone that's in their feelings about maybe going to spiritual jail it's like and for some they could already be in it and that's why it's like oh um someone's passing away or i have liver disease or i have jaundice now or something like that here there could also be someone here that's like maybe they went to the hospital or something since you have been gone eight of wands so it's all about communicating with you here taking action to communicate there's also thinking about the exciting times the exciting conversations they could have been hasty about something they really would like to speak oh i don't want to lose you so they definitely don't want to lose you for someone here it's possible that this person didn't want to lose you in the past but there's something here about their toxicity okay this could even be a, a capricorn energy so let's see what your advice is here at this time overall yeah and then look how this person is like so worried about their career now spirit what is their advice if they resonate busting out the receipts so for someone here maybe if this person does communicate with you maybe you know bust out your receipts as far as your proof proof of um i know that you know you did blah blah, blah or that you chose another person over me you chose a, you chose a karmic over me now you want to come back towards me right and look at this person not really into her she's in love with me type of thing so they may even want to communicate that to you as well and again your overall your advice is to bust out the receipts even if someone has some receipts on someone like literally knowing that they purchased some type of plants or whatever they purchased to do weird shit with if you have that proof as well what is their advice also the divine is like i'm gonna let you know they're not really into her she's in love with me lying to him about you so maybe there was also a feminine lying to this masculine about you and maybe you have receipts on that as well so bust out the receipts and just know that this person's um this magic is gonna backfire on this person also using children for manipulation so maybe for someone here they could have uh chose another um person based off of you know if they had kids with this person and for someone here maybe it was your own baby father here using children to manipulate or the feminine if you're a man watching this in that way right they could have used your children to manipulate you here they may even want to tell you that if it resonates as far as you know they have children with someone but they're not really into her and maybe this person used their children to manipulate and they really really want to tell you that they really really don't want to lose you also if you resonate with that whole magic thing that was another reason for that was because i don't want to lose you but that's so stupid because like as if that if that would have kept you but people do weird things people do things under emotionally um under emotional distress let's just say that but shout out to you guys i send you guys much love and light and i'll see you in the next one